Hello, this is Discover the Finger Lakes, and we are back for another adventurous episode here in the Finger Lakes region of New York. We thank everyone for watching all of our past videos, and uh, go to our YouTube channel and watch all of our videos if you've not seen them all. So this for this episode, Brady's not with me. I'm playing solo, but we're going to show you a couple of nice places here in New York. One being Samson Naval, or Samson, excuse me, Samson State Park, which at one time was a naval training station. And then we're going to take you to Honeyoy Falls, New York, to show you a waterfall and a trail. So, we want to thank you for all of our views and we have 43 subscribers now on YouTube so thank you very much for all those that are following us those that are not watching our videos please go to our YouTube channel or go to our Facebook page leave a comment if you like and as always like and subscribe our videos so we're going to start this uh, episode off I bet you didn't know that there was a naval training base here in upstate New York. But there was, <clears throat> on the other side of Seneca Lake. It was in the area of Romulus, New York, just up the road from Obed, New York. Today, there's not a whole lot remaining of the old military base, but just a small remnants. However, today people come to enjoy now what is called Samson State Park to camp, fish, and enjoy Seneca Lake. This complex of military museums was created by members of the Samson. World War II Veterans Organization and was a military base. The Sampson Naval Training Station and Sampson Air Force Base were temporarily homes to over 400,000 servicemen during the 40s and 50s. William Thomas Sampson, who was named for the base and the state park, was a rear admiral in the U.S. Navy and also lived in Palmyra, New York. So I took the tour of the museums. However, I was only allowed to take pictures and no video. So here are a few pictures that I took of the museum. So now, let's show you what was outside of the museum.
Samson Wall of Honor. Listed on these plaques are the names of the 1,500 men who trained at Samson and made the ultimate sacrifice in the defense of their country. So now let's take a historical tour on bike of uh, some of the places that they talk about on the tour. Remember also to get a map at the museum. Our first location that we come to is where the main office is of the state park. At one time it was used as a mess hall and also from what I have read elsewhere it was also used as a warehouse. The Naval Training Station covered 2,535 acres and was completed in 270 days at a cost of approximately $56 million. There was about four to 5,000 naval personnel operated and maintained the station. A total of 411,429 naval recruits were, were trained there. At this location, the building was used as barracks at one time and a mess hall. And also, the field was used as drill training. Now this location, even though the building is not standing anymore, was uh, the fire hall where you went and trained as a recruit to uh, fight fires. And also, if for some reason, if a soldier went AWOL or was um, disorderly conduct and, and what such, this is where you had to go to court. So what I'm looking at here is a actual road, perhaps, but also that I will take you up later on to show you. And also looks like a part of the remaining parking lot. All right. This is as far as I went, but as you can see, there used to be th something here. You can tell by the road. There are roads like this all over this park. 
and I suppose out there was the fire hall building and stuff but this is just amazing uh, at what you could see out here Okay, now I'm at another site on the map, and that is if you did the uh, took the map. Uh, this is uh, number 114 on the map, chemical weapons training. This is where uh, this area was the site of the gas chamber when Samson was an Air Force base. Gas training was a common part of a recruit's training. There were two stages to this training. First, recruits trained to recognize the different chemicals by smell, which unfortunately involved breathing in some of the fumes. Next, recruits were required to complete an obstacle course with their gas mask on to simulate conditions during an attack. This same building was a fire school when Samson was a naval base. And, of course, the building is completely gone. There's nothing left. I mean, it's grown up so much here. I mean, look at the trail in here. Or what was probably um, the driveway. But look at this. There's nothing left. So this was a place where they used to train for chemical weapons. All right. role of women at the Naval Reserve Base. Waves, known as Women Accepted for Volunteer Emergency Service, was the women's branch of the United States Naval Reserve during World War II. Now at this location, there was a Naval Hospital and which where the nurses would work and uh, help take care of the patients. According to the information plaque, it says that the hospital was down the road, but I'm assuming that uh, it was uh, the road that you see that was closed. Samson State Park is a very nice place to visit. I did enjoy my visit here. And uh, the tour that I did take was uh, very informative. And um, this, play, this park would be a nice place if you would want to visit and camp out and take the actual tour. The trail that we are going to show you is at Rotary Park near Hunayoi Falls. And the name of the trail that I looked up was Hunayoi Falls Trail, but it also has a different name.
Hanoi Falls or Zebulon Norton Trail is a 1.4 mile lightly trafficked out and back trail located near Hanoi Falls, New York that features a waterfall and is good for all skill levels. The trail is primarily used for walking and nature trips and is accessible year round. At this point of the trail, I made it to the end, or at least I thought it was the end. Um, get a little confusing. There was a sign pointing across the bridge or the road saying that the trail continues on, but I could not find the trail connecting. I thought the trail might have gone behind somebody's house. So what did I do next? I went to the nearest park, which is Harry Allen Park, and it is on North Main Street in Honeyoy Falls. Now at the entrance of the park is a gazebo, and behind that is a playground. The Hist History Museum Troop 10 Scout House and Old Schoolhouse are located in this park. Thought that was very nice uh, to see there. In addition, the Zebulon Trail starts here leading down to the lower falls and continuing on to Rotary Park. So I found the trail that I was originally on from Rotary Park. Now what I did is I followed this trail down to Honeyoy Creek and found some very interesting uh, things here. Uh, there is um, supposedly a lower mill that was here at one time. The lower mill in Honeyoy Falls, New York was a grist mill on the banks of Honeyoy Creek by Hiram Finch in 1827. At first it was called the lower mills to distinguish it from its sister mill, the upper mill at the falls. Very interesting and we will check that out soon.
So I found what I was looking for in the first place. So if you don't want to hike that trail from the park, you don't have to because find a parking place anywhere in Hanayoi Falls and you'll find the falls and they're right over here. Go so take a look. Really nice town. Very, very nice town. What I was looking for, right here. I don't know if you can read this, but it says site of the first grist mill in Honeyland Falls built by Zebulon Norton, founder of this village in 1791, known at that time as Norton's Mills. The mill was destroyed by fire in 1824. The grist mill was located on the perfect location on Honeyland Creek, taking the water from the top of the 23-foot waterfall There we go. Here is a better spot. Okay, so that is the end of episode three for season three. We uh, want to thank you for joining us. And um, I really, really enjoyed this episode. We hope you did too. Um, I liked the exploring um, Samson State Park. And uh, that was really fun. A lot of history there. A lot of places to explore just didn't want to show you everything because there's actually places there that well you might want to go yourself and find out and then whenever uh, the next area that I went to was of course Honeyoy Falls and hiked the trail and the trail was a short trail uh, got could not find the trail connecting so I did find it where it ended in a park and so explored the creek in that area thinking the mill was there but that was not it. Uh, it looked like there might have been some rock structures there but uh, so as you know I found the, I found the falls in downtown Honeyoy Falls. Uh, real nice place. Uh, I would recommend going. Um, and so we hope you enjoyed this episode. Thanks for watching. Uh, for Brady Hill, I'm James Kinney. We'll see you in September, hopefully with another special guest. Bye.